Hey everyone, it's Lily from Campus Rec Summer Camp and I have another create activity for you guys to do at home this summer. For this activity, it's super important that you have parent or guardian supervision or permission as this activity requires things that they might need to oversee or do for you. So today we're going to be making foam paint. It's really fun and it, when it dries, it's really squishy and fun to play with. Alrighty. So for this project, I thought we would do something 4th of July related because that's coming up next week. So for the supplies, we have quite a few things that we need for this. We need hard paper, coloring utensils, whether it's markers or anything else, sandwich bags, scissors, food coloring, foam shaving cream, big bottle of glue, and paper towels or a newspaper. And let's begin how to make it. So your first step is on your hard piece of paper to kind of draw out the picture that you want. I chose to draw out a American flag with some clouds, a sun, and grass and flowers. But you get to choose however you want to make it. All right, that's what it looks like with just a pencil. And then I go in and use my markers to color it in. If you don't have markers, that's fine. You can use whatever coloring utensils you have. If you do the American flag like I do, make sure you put 13 stripes because that's how many stripes there are. And the top one always starts with red. All right, and I'm just kind of wrapping up on the grass here, but that's the general idea of the picture. And with this foam paint, I'm just going to kind of go over the colors that I've colored in and kind of make it really pop. All right, so first, before we make the foam paint, either put paper towels or a newspaper on your table. Then pull out four paper or four sandwich bags. And you're going to put shaving foam in each bag. This is kind of hard to do, so if you have a parent or guardian, ask if they can do this for you. Then pour some glue in the bag. It should be about the same ratio of foam and glue. Once you get all the bags filled with that, add a few drops of food coloring. If you want it to be a lighter color, add less drops. If you want it to be a darker color, add more. The colors I had were red, green, blue, and yellow. All right, so now with all that done, push the foam down and kind of get a tiny piece of the plastic bag and cut it, a very tiny corner piece. And like you're writing icing on a cake, you're gonna kind of twist it and then push a little bit and it's gonna come through that cut corner and that's how you're gonna paint. As you can see, I'm using the green to kind of put some special effects in the grass and kind of put some dots. And once it hardens, the color deepens. So right now it looks kind of white, but once it dries, it looks really green. And then I just kind of go through all the colors and add them. I used the red to make some flowers. It was kind of like a last minute decision I had. I also used the red in the flag to kind of make that red really pop. Again, be super creative with this. This is your design. And then I go in with the blue. I mainly just kind of use the blue to fill in like the square of the blue part of the flag. And then the yellow, which I used for the sun. 
and it really kind of pops out and it's, when it dries it's really fun to play with because it's really squishy. And I also thought that the grass kind of needed some more color so I added some yellow dots to kind of look like they were dandelions or flowers in it. Then I thought it was really empty so I decided to be super creative and I decided to write July 4th on it. And again, this is your creation to so be as creative as you want. You don't have to do the design I do. And I still kind of thought it was empty, so I decided to make a firework with using red, yellow, and blue. It actually turned out really cool, and I'm really proud of it. All right, and this is what it looks like when the foam is still kind of wet and trying to dry. And it takes about three hours to dry, so, you know, three hours later and you'll get your final product. And this is what it looks like when it's dried. Like I said, it kind of turns a little bit darker. I hope you guys had a lot of fun making this. I know I did. And I still had some extra foam paint in the bag, so I decided to make some other designs. And again, you don't have to use the exact same design I did. You can always make your own. Thank you for watching. Remember to stay safe, active, and healthy. And come check out our channel next week for more fun activities from the Campus Rec Summer Camp.